sack farming is gaining traction in Ghana in the race to attain food security. Images may appear to be identical, but looks can be deceiving. The difference is not always obvious. It has to be discovered. There are always different sides to a story. We put the focus on the details. To see more, to understand better. See GTN. See the difference. Welcome back. Think of this next story as a subset, if you will, of urban farming. In Ghana, sack farming, quite literally, is now taking off. Companions are encouraging people in urban areas to use the spaces they have available in their homes to grow food in sacks in order to feed themselves and their families. This comes as farmlands gradually become scarce due to rapid urbanization, and that is also in turn threatening food security in the long run. CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rafai reports from Accra. Victor Sabute grows all kinds of crops in sacks around the little space in his home in Accra. He started this method of farming six years ago to provide fresh vegetables for his family. Over the years, I can confidently say that we never fall short of the vegetables that we use at home. And even some of the fruits, including melon, and I, I produce maize, cultivated maize as well, in the sacks. I've been able to reuse what should have been environmentally unfriendly, uh, causing a lot of havoc to us, to produce what we eat at home uh, at all times throughout the year. Since the COVID-19 lockdown, this sack farm has helped supplement Sabute's food needs. He also made some extra income by selling the excess vegetables that were produced. Sabute grows crops all year round in these sacks without using chemicals and fertilizers. He also harvests rainwater for irrigation. As Ghana experiences rapid urbanization, experts say alternative methods of agriculture, like sack farming, will play an important role in ensuring food security in cities. Sabote has initiated a campaign called Sack Revolution to encourage more people in cities to farm in sacks. He helped Anthony Lawson set up his sack farm on the rooftop of this three-story building. It has an automated drip irrigation system to enable him to grow crops all year long. It is programmed, so every morning, if it's 6 a.m., 5 a.m., if I want it to water at, say, 30 minutes or 10 minutes, it does so, and then in the evening, it does the same. Victor Sabote says more than 200 homes in Accra practice sack farming. He now wants to help many people in other cities in Ghana to set up their own sack farms in their homes as the trend grows. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.